What's uh, today? Yeah. yeah, it was an okay, okay type performance. Look, if you had said to me at the start of the game, we win by 50 odd points, you'd take it. But probably played in spits and spurts, I thought, tonight. You know, we looked good at stages, then probably a little bit inconsistent at stages. So uh, we're, we're happy with the win, don't get me wrong. But um, we're looking to play a little bit better than that next week. Um, Parts of our game we're probably a little bit unhappy with tonight, but positive being where we're four zip, which is a good result for us. I was referring to the consistency across the team, but yeah. not really referring to the consistency within the yeah, within, within the, the game, game and probably from an individual point of view. We, we probably have a lot of standout players tonight, but I think the, the great thing, and I love it as a coach, is we don't rely on you know, probably as the year previous the, the same old players getting kicks and and kicking goals. So you know, it's, it's great to see some of those. I don't like the term second tier, but they're very important players for us to consistently get better. So I'm really happy with those guys and, and how they've gone about it. Daniel Rioli's got a lot of attention, but how about Jason Castagna and his impact? Yeah, I think all, all of those um, those young boys, those young forwards, you know, Butler as well, they, they just do things that are, you know, Butler's probably a little bit unlucky tonight. He had a couple of times where he could have got out and, and Jason, I think, finished with four goals. So um, they're going to be inconsistent at times, but we're pleased as a package that they're, they're hitting the scoreboard, but more importantly, defensively, they're, they're causing the opposition an enormous amount of grief. So we're really happy with all, uh, all the performance of those three. Best season start since '95. Is it, is it going to be hard to keep a lid on things? Oh, I don't think so. It's look at outside the footy club. Things will be beat up, but the reality is we're you know four rounds in a uh, sorry four rounds into a to a long season. So we've just got to make sure we keep our eye on the ball. And you know, we haven't beaten Melbourne, I think, for the last three years. So that'll certainly be my focus and what I'll be looking at for, for this year. And they'll be smarting after a loss on the weekend. So there's going to be two sides going. Hammer and tong, I think, on uh, on Monday night. You, you've had some teams so far, Damien, with some sort of indifferent form early in the season. What do, what do you have to do, do you think, to take your game up to another level for when you play those? Yeah, there's probably... You know, we spoke to our players about the side ball coming up tonight. You know, I think... They probably over handballed last week and we prepared our guys. Listen, they, they do handball, but also be prepared for the kick and catch. And we probably didn't handle that as well as I would have liked tonight. Um, you know, in saying that, we will have a reasonable look at that and get a good understanding about what we can get better in that area. But yeah, there's been parts of a game where I'm a coach, so there's going to be things in our game that I'm always looking at to improve, and our players are too. But um, I think on tonight's performance, we saw when we play our best, we're very dangerous, but we can also hurt ourselves. Uh, at various stages also, but the consistency of our group and the performance of our group was very good. You know, I thought Kane Lambert did a, another stand-up job at various stages going to, to Rich, then to Zorko late, so I'm pretty happy with some of those boys. Sort of touched on it already, but obviously you didn't get a huge contribution from Dusty tonight. It must be, after the start he's had at the season, it must be nice to know that you've you don't have to rely on a guy like him. Yeah, it is good. And I thought Dion stepped up to fill that void a little bit tonight. I think he had, you know, 20 odd touches, seven tackles, and looked really clean in and around the scrimmages. And you know, those sort of players are important to us because we can't consistently rely on those guys to, to win us games week in, week out. And, you know, the more depth we've got to roll through there, I think, is important. You know, we had another player tonight, uh, Connor Menninger, who, who gets a taste and will get better through the, uh, through the game experience. But, you know, it was good just to see most blokes ticking boxes tonight, which is good. So we got beaten around the stoppages at yeah. different times. Is that a concern? Or... Oh, look, it was tonight. It was probably the one area that we felt we were, you know, disappointed in a way. Look, to be fair, it's uh, the centre wicket, you know, shows us something we don't normally see, and I'm not too sure what was going on with the boundary throw-ins at, at some stage tonight. I think. Uh, my grandfather, who's passed away, could have thrown him in a little bit further at some stage, but um, they're probably a little bit, little bit shallow. But um, all we ask is for a consistency of what that is, because we gave away a number of free kicks for grabbing guys around stoppages where the boundary throwings are a bit small. Thanks, guys. Thanks.